discuss comic books and television programs. Other brave podcasters discuss adrenaline and the never-ending search for a good time. To accept the crashy for most thrilling podcast, Robert Coker, Doug Barnes, and Brett Young from Season Pass. Sorry for making you go second. I know you're used to being in front of the line, but you're going to go second this time. Come on up! I'm Brett Dyer from Wichita. My name is Jeff Shaw. I live in North Carolina, and I received an email from Chris Gore stating that I had won an award. And it arrived in the mail this other day, and this is what it looks like. It's a pair of earbuds. Hey, I just wanted to tell you I love the podcast Podcrash with that Chris Gore. I absolutely love the podcast Podcrash. Thank you, Podcrash, for this award. Uh, Chris Gore from Podcrash has selected me as his best listener. Chris Gore is so funny. If I'm having a bad day, I just turn him on and instantly I feel better. I've listened to every episode and I intend to listen to every episode that ever comes out in my life that I can listen to with my eardrum. Because it shows that Podcrash cares about its fans and that being a fan of Podcrash is something to be proud of. Probably one of the my, my most favorite podcasts on the internet. Um, I really don't like being on camera, so I'm not gonna be. Even as a special bonus, he autographed it down here on the bottom. Hello, I love the Chris Gore podcast. I listen to every episode of the podcast. It's my favorite podcast. It's basically the only reason I ever even think about going on iTunes. He's really hot too. Like, really, really hot. <laughs> Chris Gore makes me laugh and is very entertaining. 
say um, I appreciate Chris and thinking about me, giving me this award. It's my X Files collection. So uh, thank you, Pod Crash and Chris Gore. Love you with all my heart. Let's get out of here. that said that I was hot because I don't think she listens to the podcast because she should know that I don't like white girls. I'm really not into white girls. With all due respect to white girls in the audience, she listens to the podcast, she'd know that. I, I'm going to say that that was, that was fake, that particular one. Boo. So, boo on that. Wait, all right, you're next. You're up, Kayla. Don't you have something to say? Just a reminder, hashtag podcast <laughs> podcast awards 2012 on Twitter, Facebook, or any other social messaging services. And later in the show, Podcast of the Year Award. Wow. That's pretty exciting. Now, uh, many podcasts do not record in studios. They often record in studio apartments. Hey, don't, don't judge me. Actually, your, your studio apartment is great. It's very neat and organized. It's like it's like you has the game. It's, it's great. You're, I have that too. I'm very organized. So um, you have a great setup. Thank you. But we're not talking about you at this moment. Uh, some podcasts actually record in, in incredible studios, like amazing. To accept the Crashy for best podcasting studio, awesome, great job, is Roth Cornett After Buzz TV. Come on, get out! podcast and a great space to do it in. That's all I'm saying. I do. Thank you so much. For Chris, this what is this white girl work. doing on stage? I was just oh. going to say, oh. I'm for allowing a white chick to be in your audience. Oh. Oh. Woo! God, I lost a lot of the audience with that comment. I'm sorry. Mom. <laughs> you to accept your crashy. We've got a couple colors left. <laughs> Say, you had a really good factoid though. After Buzz TV point. was founded by the, the very sexy TV personality Maria Menounos. Who is not white? She's. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> no, she's no. I didn't mean to go blue. I'm sorry. She, no, she's very hot. She's she's sexy. Okay. She, let's... she didn't set up that studio. That's no way she did that. <laughs> First of all, thank you, Carol, for replenishing our award supply. Don't worry, we have plenty in all your favorite colors. They're very loud. Okay, now, let's, let's move it on. Uh, a, a great many podcasts are created by men and are released to primarily male audience. This is especially true on programs where topics are comic books and science fiction. That's my favorite. However, some women crave such programming. This podcast provides just that. The Crashy for Best Podcast for Lady Geeks goes to the Defective Geeks. Thanks to 